We all repurpose products in inventive ways, like using pool noodles as lightsabers. Yoda! Or a treadmill to hang laundry. As consumers, we actually have a lot of say in what brands really end up becoming. Hero branding expert Ellie Craig says our unexpected uses can change how a product is marketed. There's a lot of brands out there that are used today not the way they were originally intended. We're running down products we're using wrong or at least differently from their early marketing. First up, there's Latisse Eyelash Growth Serum. Having fabulous eyelashes is a thing that all the ladies love right now. To a crazy degree. Hey, Cardi B, are those eyelashes or are tarantulas squatting in your eye sockets? But Latisse, the well-known eyelash growing serum, wasn't originally meant for that. Latisse was originally meant for glaucoma. Next, you'll try to tell me marijuana's for getting high. And they realized that these people who had glaucoma have really fabulous eyelashes all of a sudden. And therefore, Latisse got rebranded away from the glaucoma market and into the eyelash growing market. And it also works for eyebrows, which might help some people who seem to be using a Sharpie to draw eyebrows on with a protractor. Next up, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap, you know it, we love it, and we more importantly love to pop it. Popping bubble wrap is perhaps the greatest incidental benefit of a product since someone figured out you could use bobby pins as a toothpaste clip. It had nothing to do with keeping your items safe in transit. Bubble wrap was originally meant to be wallpaper. Makes sense, it goes with everything. Jimmy, when people ask you to go to a padded room, do you think that's what they mean? I'm not crazy, if I were crazy, would I crazy? Next, we have a now beloved product for which the manufacturer suggested a strange off-label use, Lysol disinfectant. Lysol is a company that we've known for a while, and of course, in 2020 with the pandemic, got huge recognition again with being disinfectant, germicide, keeps you healthy, keep you clean. With that in mind, Lysol has a completely different use than its original intent. So what was it supposed to be? Originally, Lysol was designed to be a contraception. Okay, this is shocking, but according to Andrea Tone's book, Devices and Desires, A History of Contraceptives in America, in addition to cleaning surfaces, Lysol was slyly advertised as contraception. And let's be clear, this is a terrible and potentially dangerous use for this product. Jimmy, do you think the original version of Lysol was lemon-scented or pine-scented? Now, if it was for contraception, they would have made it with the least romantic scent possible, so I'm guessing it smelled like... Adam Driver after weeding his garden. Let's wrap up with an iconic American product, Coca-Cola. Originally, Coca-Cola wasn't meant to be such a refreshing drink. It was actually meant to be an alternative to morphine addiction. Coke's inventor, pharmacist John Pemberton, created a concoction that included cocaine to help kick his own morphine habit because clearly the best way to break one addiction is to become addicted to something even more addictive. So if you feel like every day you must have your Coke, well, guess what? That may be true. But now that's probably just for the caffeine. Products we're using wrong are at the top of the list.